Hey, it's Callum Both here. So today we are going to learn how to add a custom landing page to a NAC app with only a tiny bit of code. So why would you want to do this? Well, a NAC app uh, is great for internal usage, but it's kind of hard to make it look really good for public usage. So this kind of meets that goal. So here's an example of what we're going to build. We've got a standard NAC app with just a few kind of empty pages. And then we've got this home page, which has this kind of more normally normal website looking custom designed content on it. So it's just um, got some, you know, mostly just example data and example text, but you get the idea of the fact that we've rendered something that looks really nice into our NAC app. So it actually is kind of moderately functional. I haven't completely finished it, but it shows the concepts. So if you click these links, it takes you to pages in, in your actual app. And a couple of the values here are actually dynamic and based off the data in our database. So this number here actually is looking at how many clients are in our database and showing that number. And these cards here are actually showing real team member records in our database. So we can see that there's 76 clients in our database. And we also have those three team members stored in our Mac database. So if you update these in the database and refresh the page, these will actually update. So they're showing dynamic real data from our Mac database on our landing page. So let's launch in and get started. So we're going to revert our app to the starting state so we can build it in from scratch. So here we have our NAC app. We have nothing not showing on the home page, just a, a message that we need to put something nice here. And then we have our empty demo and learn more pages. So everything so far that we have in the app is all normal, basic NAC usage. We've got a table of clients and we have 76 clients in there with just a junk name. And then we have a table called team where we've got uh, a name, a position, a bio, those are all just text fields and a photo uploaded. So I've got three example team members in the database. We also have user roles enabled, but we're not actually using them at the moment. Uh, we have no custom code or either JavaScript or CSS. And we have just customized a few of the live app design settings to give us this particular header layout and this particular color. So yeah, just a very basic NAC app in the pages, we just have a home page with a rich text on it, demo page, and learn more, or we just have rich text on it. And then we have this here, which uh, will become relevant later, but it just has shows what data we want to show on the home page eventually. So it's just got a grid of clients and a grid of team members. Okay, so how are we actually going to build our custom designed landing page? Or to do that, we're going to use Plasmic. So Plasmic is another low-code app builder. It works quite a lot differently to NAC, where it's only for building front-end. It doesn't deal with your back-end database. And it's a lot more flexible in what you can do. That, of course, comes with a trade-off. NAC is super fast to use. Plasmic is a lot slower to build things. But it lets you, in a no- or low-code way, build really flexible, beautiful layouts, a bit more like what you can do in something like Webflow, but you can actually make them interactive with uh, dynamic data as well. So we're going to sign up for a new Plasmic account. So yeah, we're going to enter email and password and all that kind of stuff. And then we're going to hit sign up and fill in all the stuff. Then we're going to click continue. Uh, it doesn't actually matter what you fill in here. Okay, then you verify your email address. So here's the email that I got. So I click the link to verify. Okay, so I verify the email now. Then we have to enter our organization name. No need to invite collaborators. And eventually we get to our Plasmic Studio. Okay, so in Plasmic, we're going to create a new project. 
and we're going to select the starter project called Light SAS landing page. So this is a pre-built template that you can use as a jumping off point, and that's what mostly how our custom landing page is going to look. We're just going to do a little bit of modification, but we're going to mostly use it unchanged. So the app will load, and we're in a environment where we can view different screen sizes, and also on our left we can see what the page is made up of. So different images and stacks and bits of text and that kind of stuff. So Plasmic is what you what you can build in Webflow, you can basically build in Plasmic, so a visual kind of website builder. And that's basically what we have here right now. We have a, a visually built page of a website with nothing dynamic. It's just all kind of built with different uh, components on the page. So we're not going to go too much into how to use Plasmic Studio because they've got some pretty good documentation. The focus of this video is more on how we can make something in Plasmic and then integrate it into NAC. So the only change that we're going to make is that our NAC app has a menu. So we don't really want this menu here. So we're going to kind of hover over things and find the correct section. So on, on our left here, we can navigate through the different layers and stuff that make up the page. So I'm going to find what looks like the correct one, which I think is the nav bar, and I'm just going to hit delete. And that will get rid of that. So now I'm pretty happy as this is our starting point for what we integrate into our NAC app. So we're going to leave Plasmic now and start doing the integration into NAC. So Plasmic has this button up here called code, and that gives you little code snippets for how you can integrate into different uh, things. So various different frameworks that you might be building it. That app in code in or plain JavaScript. So NAC uses plain JavaScript and HTML. At least that's what we have access to from the NAC builder. So we could use something like this for loading Plasmic into our project. But after some experimentation, I have come up with a way that I think works better because using this native method is a little bit slower than some other methods for loading it in and just doesn't and there's some weird stuff with caching so instead we're going to use a little bit of code that i've developed which we can just copy paste into our NAC app so this is the only code that we're going to need and there's only a few lines that need modification so yes we have to use a little bit of code but it's very minimal so we will copy this link which you can find in the description below and we're going to go to our NAC app and we're going to go to settings, API and code, JavaScript, and just paste it in. So let's have a little look at what this is doing. So this first one, first bit, just uh, loads an external script into NAC uh, before the NAC app finishes loading. And there's a a little wrapper function that I've published here at this URL that helps us uh, load the Plasmic component in. Then we get to the bit where we're actually loading Plasmic onto a particular page, and this is the bit that we need to modify, which we'll come back to. And then at the bottom, we have a bit a generic function that you don't need to modify that just helps with loading in those external files. So let's have a look at this part now. So we're going on the render of particular view in NAC, which we need to specify here. We're going to run this function here, which renders the Plasmic component. And then we need to give, give some information about uh, which Plasmic project we're loading from and, and some other things. So let's just uh, get started here by showing you. So I'm going to save that and come back to it in a second. OK, that's saved now. So in my home page, instead of the text insert nice page here, I'm actually going to write one more line of code. And this is just plain HTML code. So I'm going to go div id equals home page. 
and then close the div. And then inside the div, we're just going to put the words loading. So this ID home dash page is a unique identifier for this div that we can use. And we're going to say load plasmic into this. So I'm going to save that. But right now, if I refresh, nothing's going to be changed because I haven't hooked it up to render here. I've just made a, a div that says loading, which doesn't really do anything yet. So now let's go and hook it up. So we need to get the view key of that rich text view. So if I click here, I can see that that is view five. So I'm going to copy that. And then back in my code, I'm going to replace view XX with view five. So that means this code will run when view five renders in our app. Now I'm going to set the target div where we're going to render things to the correct value and it's already set to home page, so we don't need to change it. We're going to leave this thing as true, which makes it means that we don't have to have styling clashes between NAC and Plasmic, so just leave that as true. Then we need to go and get our Plasmic project ID and public token. So in Plasmic, the project ID is in the URL. So I'll copy that, paste it there. And our public token, you can get by clicking the code button and then copying the value at the top. And then we'll paste that in here. We're going to leave preview to true, which means we don't have to publish changes in Plasmic to see them reflected in our NAC app. And then the last thing we want to modify is the name of our component or page in Plasmic that we're rendering. So our page that we want to render into NAC is called home page. And so we don't actually need to change that. It's already uh, the value that it is. But if you had it something else, you'd change it to whatever it's called in Plasmic. Then we're going to save our code. And then we're going to go to our NAC app front end and reload. And we should see our page load. There we go. So it successfully loaded our custom designed landing page into our NAC app using only a couple of lines of code. So pretty cool. Now you could totally just leave it here. If you just want a static custom landing page, you can just stop here. And then if you ever want to make any changes to the content of this page, you'd go back to Plasmic and you'd make the changes you need to make and they'll reflect here when you refresh. But if you want to make it a bit more dynamic, so using real values from your database or real team members from your database, then you can watch the next video and we'll show you how to hook it up to your NAC data so that uh, it can be dynamic rather than just a static website page.